All right, I'm just going to give a couple of short, quick tips for people to follow. Uh, I'm not going to actually do a lot of this stuff because I'm kind of in a rush, but I have rackets, so I'm just going to give some tips. This one I can move out the way. Uh, this racket, I had to resize it. It's a half size. So when you re, okay, you repurpose a grip. So this is the the, over, the grip that came off of it. What I use, because this player, he likes his old grips. He doesn't like me to replace his grips. He wants these grips. What I have is double-sided tape. And I have three different sizes. I have a half inch. And this is like an eighth inch. And then I've got like a sixteenth inch. Anyway, so I've got double-sided tape. What I will do is I'll take that double-sided tape, like this is all half inch, I don't know how much you can see, but this is all half inch, I'll run down through here. And then when you get like into the little skinny ends and stuff, I'll put some of the, the thinner, the eighth or the quarter inch or whatever that is, sixteenth inch. I'll put some of that into it too. But what you need to remember more than anything is we always talk about when you put a grip on, uh, or when you mount the racket to be strong, put it butt cap up. Same thing when you're uh, doing any racket maintenance. When you're going to put on a grip, if you're replacing grips for people, always start butt cap up. That way you know you're starting all your rackets exactly the same. So like this one, actually called, I don't have to babble lot, I think, to go up. So I'll actually start butt cap up but i'll start on that and again i'm not going to do this whole thing i don't know if you can even see it i started on that bevel because i want the bevel lot to be up okay don't even have my glasses on i can't see what i'm doing so that way i'm gonna start working that around here butt cap up I have the bab a lot. So that's what I like to do. Uh, I'm not saying you have to do that, but I'm just saying that's a good way to always remember. If you always start your racket, all your maintenance, butt cap up, and start everything, all your grips the same way, all your over grips the same way, everything the same way. I mean, everything will turn out the same. So you don't want to give a customer back, you know, two rackets, change their grips, one of them bab a lot up, one of them bab a lot down. I mean, it can throw some people off. So there are a lot of good videos out there talking about a uh, head guard replacement. I'm going to give you all a couple of tips that I have not heard in any of the head guard replacement videos. So first thing you need to do is make sure you have the correct head guard, make sure you measure it out and everything. Uh, all these grommets that have been uh, all beat up and torn up, you know, flared out. I'll take my snips and I'll go in here and again, I'm not going to do all this. I'll go in there and I will snip them. That way they just come out easier. But I'll go around this and I'll cut out, you know, main ear tie-offs, anything that kind of bends in the awkward angle. But I'll do that. But before I take this grommet set out, I'm going to take my racket, butt cap up. Okay, there's going to be a theme, butt cap up. And I have that racket. Just like this. And again, butt cap up. I'm going to remove this side of the grommet strip. When I do, I'm going to lay that grommet strip right here. And I'm going to take the bottom one out. I'm going to lay it here and so forth. I'll start taking them out, but I'm going to lay them in the order or in the area to where I took them off at from that racket. That way, because not all of these are symmetrical, a lot of these are asymmetrical. That way, well here it'll kind of look like this. I like to say I take these out. These are symmetrical, I believe. Yes. So I'll pull these out. Those will sit there. Those will sit there. That would go up here. And these would go like that. Okay. So that's how those would be sitting around my table. Those would be the old ones. So then you can take the new ones and say, okay, here's my old one, here's my new one. You can match them up. That way you know that grommet strip goes here. 
and not over here. So if you get an asymmetrical racket, racket and say there's 12 on this side, 13 on this side, and you put the 13 over here and the 12 over here, that's going to screw up the whole racket. I saw one just last week, and that's why I really kind of thought about this. But a lot of people demonstrate online how to replace the grommets, but they don't tell you the little, I mean, that's just my little tip. I don't know if, what they do, but that's my little tip. I'll take the old ones out, put it around the frame, and then match up the new ones to the old ones. Even if they break, just put the little pieces out. But I'll match them up that way. That way, and I always have grommets that are butt cap up. And again, same thing when you're re-gripping. Always mount everything butt cap up. Start the same way. That way, all your grips will come out and look look the same. Basically, just trying to be consistent. Anyway, I've got like 20 rackets. I got a string, so I don't have all night to do a video. But I hope y'all got at least a couple little things butt cap up. Remember that forever, and you'll get through a lot of this stuff a lot easier, and it'll look a lot better.